Hi guys, it's Deborah from Diamonds Jewel by Deborah. I am going through and doing another holiday sale, gift giving season. These are some of the items that came out of my other five pound bread up boxes. And these have a lot of sparkle. So we're going to go through these one by one. All right, you guys. So like I have Santa's helper. <laughs> He's he's wedging his way in. He is really cute. I love this. He's a little metal guy with frosted glitter. So I've had him for a while. So he's going to help us today. <laughs> so first up are these beautiful hair clips. It has purple, lilac color, and green and blue. There is a little tiny scratch on that one and that one. They're silver tone. These are by Cinchy, which makes hair clips. So these are really cute, but very heavy. So you would have to have a lot of hair like me to be able to support that. You could maybe use them as a tie clip or I'm sorry, as a scarf clip. But like I said, they're very heavy. So let me get you a measurement. These guys measure in it two and a quarter inches. They're lovely. I would do those for six. All right, next up, we have a beautiful silver tone with bead. It's, it's work here. It's imprinted, so it looks like they're stones, but they're not around the butterfly wings. It has pink and aurora borealis stones. This is what the back looks like. Very pretty. Let me get you a measurement. It is two inches wide by one and a quarter inches. I would do him for four. Okay, so next we have Jennifer Moore. They say 14 karat gold posts. They're originally $20. They are silver tone. I don't know if these belong on here or not. They're clear and pale blue so we're going to go ahead and test this and see if these belong on this card so it said 14 karat gold posts so what i'm going to do is do the scratch test with the post and i'm going to test it with the 10 karat no reason to use the 14 karat we will see if the 10 karat test <clears throat> all right give it a second here so it is not eating it so that's good so we know it's at least 10 karat gold backing so what i'm going to do now is do another scratch test oh sorry about that noise <laughs> all right and i'm going to pull out the 14 karat gold test and we are going to give that a, a big glump. We're going to give it a minute and we're going to see. Okay. It is not eating away. It is staying there. So they are 14 karat gold backed earrings. Very pretty. Very nice. You know what? I have Pressy out. Let's go ahead and bring Pressy in and we will test the stones just in case. All right, let me bring her into view. We will pr do the blue one first. Okay, it's not measuring. Let's try the clear stone. And they are not measuring anything. So it is 14 karat gold post. Very cute. I would say they are about half an inch. So for these, I would do six. All right, so there are a lot of rings. So let me get you a measurement on this. This is a seven and a quarter inch. This is stunning, look at that. Gold tone. With stones in the center, all rhinestones, round, 
beautiful work. There is no maker's mark on it. It is costume. So for this ring, let me get you a measurement. It is one and three quarters inch. That is gorgeous. By three quarters inch. So let's say $5 on that one. You know what? I just noticed a tiny stone is missing. So if anyone's still interested in it, I will do, let's say three. All right. Next up is another ring. Oh, this is pretty. It is a U.S. seven and a quarter. This is more of a brass tone or an antique to gold tone. Beautiful black and white. This is just a classic, beautiful style. Black enamel in the center, rhinestones. Making sure all the stones are there. These stones look like they are popping out. So if someone could repair that. So for this one, I would also do $3. All right, let's do one more ring. I'm making sure that there are all the stones. Okay, this one's in better condition. It is hard to say. <laughs> it is about six and three quarters. Let's see if I can put it on my pinky. That was really pretty. Gold tone. We'll call this one the crisscross. No maker's mark. I'll do this one for five. But we have four more rings. So we might as well just finish up the rings. This is really pretty. This is a gray. All rhinestones in a gold tone, silver tone. Oh, nope, it is silver tone. Adjustable ring. So as it sits, it is a six and a half. That's pretty. Let's get a measurement of the face. That is three quarters inch. That is just beautiful. Let's do four on that one. Okay. Let's make sure all the stones are here. This is really pretty. It's gold tone. Looks like all the stones are there. That's as far as it goes on my hand. <laughs> pretty. Let's get you a measurement. I have big fingers. So it is about a five and a half gold tone with one, two, three, four, five layers of clear rhinestones. I don't see any maker's mark gold tone. That is really pretty. Let's do this one for five. Okay, so I have these two rings here. They're different sizes, so I will do them separately. And just so you know, coming up, I have a bracelet that matches. So we will do this ring first. Very pretty. Gold tone. I don't see any maker's mark. This is like a faux marble. It is a seven and a quarter. That's really pretty. I would do this one for four. All right. And this is neat too. Same thing. Gold tone with faux marble. This one's larger. It does fit my finger. Gold tone. It measures about an inch and an eighth. Let me get you a measurement here. This one fits... I would say about a seven to a seven and eight inch. Very pretty. So this one I would also do for four. And then we have that, <clears throat> excuse me, bracelet. There is a little bit of wear here that has the same marbling effect. This is plastic. I don't see any maker's mark. So I would do this guy for Let's say two dollars and it measures in at seven and a half. All right, let's get on to oh no, there is one more ring. Huh, I thought it was a brooch. <laughs> this is beautiful. Beautiful flower, all center, clear rhinestones, yellow enamel. It looks like there's just a tiny little mark there. 
right there. Gold tone. I do not see any Micers Mark. Let me get you a measurement. It would be a US 7. Oh, is that pretty? Beautiful. For this one, I would do 5. So let's get on to some bracelets. This is pretty. This feels like leather. It's a twisted silver tone. No maker's mark on this one. Very pretty. All right. So this one measures in at seven and three quarters inch. This one I would do for two. All right. Next up is a fun one. If you like jingle, jingle, jingles. <laughs> I'm thinking Christmas movies already here. All right. So these have discs. They are a breast tone. I'm not sure if that is verdigris or if there was green enameling on it because all the pieces have it, but only on these. So I think it was a green wash that they put on there. And this has rose tone, silver tone, and gold tone balls. And little rhinestone set balls here. I don't see any missing stones, making sure. Yeah, because even these have the green. So green is part of the color. Beautiful leather, multi-strand. Here's the clasp. Let's get you a measurement on this. This is gorgeous. Okay, it's a seven inch and you could probably go up to like seven and a quarter. Uh, for this lovely, I would do five. Okay. Oh, this is really pretty. I love this coloration. So these are a grayish smoky quartz color, black, and then multicolor beads. Really nice, stretchy, so it'll fit everybody. Very pretty. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight layers. And that is really gorgeous. So for this wrap bracelet, let's say three. Alrighty, let's get on to this one. This one it says the landmark P14975. So I uh, don't think that is the price. I'm not sure where. Very pretty. Silver tone. Making sure all of the rhinestones are there. They are, and these are faux beads. Very pretty. So for this one, let's say five. All right, oh, this is stunning. This looks like this is the, yes, this is the last of the wrap bracelets. Wire wrap, very pretty. I like that faceted gold tone with two color different faux pearls. That's pretty. No maker's mark. Very nice. That's beautiful. And you can wear this any time of year and any occasion. So let's do this one also for five. My little helper was moving out of the screen. I just noticed. Huh. All right. Let's go. With, oh, that's pretty. Gold tone. He has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six clear stones they are bezel set i don't see a maker's mark it does open and it is magnetic so let me get you a measurement it's really pretty it would be just at seven inches and there is a tiny little scratch right there Let's see if you can see that right there so let's say two dollars for this one okay oh there is look another stretchy <laughs> this is cute let me make sure that looks like it's just dirt right there it could be a little discoloration these are plastic on a brass tone it does stretch it's pretty they're a deep peach color let's do this one mm. Let's say one dollar. Right now, here is a leaf design, and this looks like a washed gold tone textured bracelet. It is hinged. 
don't see any maker's mark. I wear a seven and a half and it fits me fine. Very nice. Let's get a measurement. It is about three quarters of an inch wide. That's really pretty. So let's say for this hinged bracelet, we will do $3. Okay, now I'm gonna get into the last three of the bracelets. This one's fun, 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 fun. I had a necklace that was similar to this, but we had ended up putting it into craft because it was missing two stones. But this lovely is not missing any stones. So these are black bars and gold tone bars. It looks really pretty together with the center bezel set rhinestones. Very pretty, it is a stretch. So as it sits, it fits a seven, so it will stretch up. That is really pretty. Let's get you a better look at those stones. So for this lovely bracelet, let's do five. Okay. Oh, nope. This one I was going to do, but it is missing a stone. So I'm going to put that into craft. What a shame. So it's missing. Yeah, it's missing two stones. So this I'm just going to put into my rhinestone crafting lot. This is really pretty. All right. This is the last bracelet. Let me get you a measurement. It measures exactly to eight, but to be on the safe side, I would say no larger than seven and three quarters. Very pretty. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Faux pearl. That's pretty, like a black egg. Reminds me of a Fabergé egg, but it's not. <laughs> then the center is black with silver tone or gold tone. Here's another one of the eggs. Another bead and then a plain egg. That is really pretty. Oh, I love that. Let's see what it looks like on. Nice. Oh, it is gorgeous. So for this bracelet, let's do five. Okay, next up, we are moving to a necklace. Wow, is that pretty? These are like a frosted white matte faux bead with frivoli faceted bezel set stones silver tone on a very heavy chain it is just a lobster claw clasp there is no maker's mark this is what the back looks like very pretty let me get you a measurement on this all right it is now this does have the extender so we'll do it as it sits from the extender so it is a nine and a half wearable and then there's another inch and a half so about 11 inch wearable length wow is that stunning let's do six on this one all right up next we have a beautiful two layer like tennis bracelet style necklace it's a choker silver tone here is the hook very pretty it's very dainty let me get you a measurement of how wide it is it's about a quarter of an inch there are no missing stones oh, i wish you guys could see how well that glitters absolutely stunning here's what the back looks like now this piece is not vintage. It is a newer looking piece. So let's get you a measurement. It is small. It is a seven and a quarter, but you could make it larger. You could put a jump ring on here and you could also put on an extension if you wanted to on that. So let's say for this necklace, let's do $4. Okay, this one's pretty. I'm going to show it to you on the black, but then we'll put it on the, on the red and the white background so you can see. This is a black chain with a beautiful black flower design. These are more of a gray rhinestone with black rhinestone centers and beads. 
very pretty. Oh, I really like it. Oh, I see a hang tag. Let me see who that hang tag is. Oh, it's Premier Design. Pretty. Beautiful, classy necklace. Here's what it looks like with the red. Here's what it looks like on the white. Let me bring it up to you. So you can see that coloration a little better. Very pretty. Let me get you a measurement on this. So as it sits, the wearable length is seven, but it does have an extender, which is two and a half inches. Oh, that is just beautiful. I love Premier Design. So for this one, there's no missing stones. That's what the back looks like. We will do this one for six. Okay, now for a different one. I'm trying to, to give you guys different styles and designs. I just absolutely love this. Look at this box chain. It is square. These are all black seed beads and white seed beads with like a brass tone, gold tone, square bead, necklace, collar. This is stunning. It has a lobster claw clasp. Let me show it to you against the white. So that's what it looks like against the white. Very pretty. Let me get you a measurement on this. But let's do the dangles. So the longest dangle from the bottom is three and a quarter inches. Beautiful. All right, let's get you a measurement here. As it sits... It is a seven inch wearable length and another two inches. So nine and a half wearable length. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I just love this. This is so different. A lot of work went into making this for sure. So for this necklace, let's do six dollars as well. Okay, this guy is just too adorable. I think it's a Chihuahua. I'm not very good at my um, little dogs. I have big dogs. Um, this is gorgeous. It's like a pink glitter with blue rhinestone eyes, a little silver tone nose. Look at that bow tie. Oh, adorable. You guys let me know. Do you think it's a Chihuahua? I think so. I guess. There is a tiny bit of glitter loss on the back. Boy, is that cute. Silver tone chain. Let's get a measurement as it sits. It is a seven and a quarter wearable. And then there is a more of an extender. And that is two and a half more inches. But you guys, he's so adorable. I would have to say he's a chihuahua. But let me know. He's gorgeous. Let's do six on this guy. Right. We have got two more necklaces. And then we're going to get to some earrings. That's really pretty. Oh, I wish you guys could see that sparkle. Beautiful. They're all faceted stones. Beautiful. Let me bring it up closer. You can see here these are black with the beautiful sparkle over. And these are clear. Stunning. They are glass. Beautiful. Let me show you what it looks like on the white. Absolutely beautiful. So let me get you a measurement on this necklace. The total length on this one, including the extender, is 19 and a half inches. And this one, I would do for seven. Okay, so this one is really pretty and really long. So this is a New York and Company necklace. It is new with the tag. Gold tone, dual strength there, dual chain. Really pretty. These are a black, kind of an Aurora Borealis. And these are clear with gold imprints on them. Gold tone beads, spacers, really pretty. So, let me get you a length on this beauty. And that's nice. That's another great gift idea for the holidays. Just put it in a box and you're ready to go. All right, so 
it is an 18 inch wearable line. Oh, that is really pretty. So for this one, I'll do six. Okay, so we've got three more items and they're all earrings. These are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, look at that elegant design on that. Very pretty. Let me get you a measurement. Let me flip my little guy over here. So it measures in at one and a quarter. I'm gonna test these for sterling. I don't see any marking on it. Oh, nope. You can tell right there, it's too red tone. And I'll show you, let me use the 18 karat gold on there. And as you can see, it ate it right away. So just for giggles, I'm going to put 10 karat on there as well, because sometimes it could be white gold. All right, and that is the 10 karat. And so far it's holding. So I'm going to take a peek at that. Okay, so there we go. I waited another minute and it did eat it away. So these are silver tone, gorgeous earrings. Oh, I just absolutely love these. And they are a glass and as you can see, they're beautiful. They've got faceting on there and there's what look like black rhinestones. Beautiful. Hmm. Okay, for these lovely earrings, let's just do four. Okay, let's see. These are really pretty. These are gray Aurora Borealis. They are glass, really pretty. They measure in at just under three quarters of an inch. So for those, I would do two. Okay, and the last pair are the silver tone, beautiful wire work pear shape with the center uh, rhinestone. Here's what the back looks like. They measure in at just over one inch. Absolutely gorgeous. So for these, I would do $2. So you guys let me know what your favorite pieces are. And if you want to purchase, just give me a jingle at Timeless Jewel by Deborah at gmail.com with a timestamp and the item and your real name, your YouTube name, and your PayPal address. And I will send you an invoice. I do ship worldwide. U.S. shipping is $5. And for my international friends, it is determined on your location and the weight. And shipping has gone up, not by us sellers, but by the U.S. Postal Service. And they made it for just the holiday season. Wasn't that nice of them? So your shipping would be a little bit more than it has been in the past. And just want to let you guys be aware of that. So leave your comment on what your favorite pieces are. And if you're interested in any items, just shoot me that email. You guys have a great day and be well. Bye.